This is bad. A popular YouTuber has been arrested in Thailand after brutally killing a 44-year-old surgeon while on vacation. Not only did he kill him, but he went ahead to dismember his body, cutting it into 14 different parts and disposing of them at different locations. How tragic. But his attempt to get away with murder did not last long because as good looking as he is, he isn't that smart. Daniel Sanchez is a notable YouTube chef and also the son of a popular Spanish actor in Colombia. For a 29 year old YouTuber, he is doing well for himself, or so it seems. However, his relationship with a 44 year old victim known as Edwin Arrieta became a thing of questioning when this whole thing blew up right in his face. The bottom line is Daniel claimed that on the 2nd of August 2023, he and the victim for the 44 year old surgeon Arrieta went to his room in one of the locations and in the hotels that they have lodged while on the tourist center in Thailand. And that while they were in the room, Daniel claimed that Edwin Arrieta tried to have sex with him, in which he retaliated by punching him in his face, causing the surgeon to fall and hit his head on the tub. It was at this point that Daniel claimed he panicked and did not know what to do. And so, like we see in multiple crime cases, he decided it was best to get rid of him. Purchasing weapons and machetes, he ended up dismembering this victim's body and disposed of them before going to meet the police to file a missing person report on Edwin Arrieta. Clearly, this is where he may have messed up. Now, the problem is Daniel and Arrieta seem to be friends. They seem to know each other. Daniel actually described him as a travel buddy, that they are just travel friends and they only made arrangements for this particular trip. And he claimed to not have known the surgeon before now and that they only just met at this trip booked a hotel together even though during investigation the police would discover that daniel already had a reservation at another hotel that was separate from the one he had booked at the hotel with the surgeon uh, edwin arrieta which is why the police are doubting that okay if you're coming to this hotel here with this man and you had your own hotel reserved for a different date it meant that he planned to spend time with this surgeon but the problem the police had with the case was where did it go wrong at what point did this go sour? If they were friends, it would make sense that Edwin Arrieta coming up to Daniel to sexually make advances at him could be a trigger, could be the thing that may have caused Daniel to react the way he did. But the only problem is, during investigation, the police were able to deduct that Daniel may have planned to kill this man the day before this whole incident happened, the day before Daniel claimed the man tried to have sex with him, which was on uh, Wednesday. Because on the 1st of August, by this time, they had already been in, the, in Thailand for the tourism. It was said that they arrived somewhere towards the end of July. So somewhere around the 1st of August, the police were able to get a hold of a CCTV camera, seeing Daniel buying the weapons that he had used to kill this man. So if Daniel is buying these weapons on the 1st of August, only to claim that the reason why he killed this man was because the man tried to sexually abuse him, which happened on the second, it's difficult for them to believe that the reason why he killed this man was because the man tried to sexually abuse him. Whereas he had already purchased the weapons and the duct tape and the ropes and the, and the bags he was going to use to dispose of something. Or was he planning to use that bag for something else before this happened? It's hard to tell, but it's very clear that Daniel obviously had this man in mind the day before he claimed the man tried to have sex with him. Another thing that made this case really bad for Daniel was the fact that when it blew up, the family of the late man, the late Edwin Arrieta, were very aware of the relationship that Arrieta had with Daniel, saying that they were dating, that they were lovers, and they had been dating for over a year. So the claim that this man was just a travel buddy by Daniel clearly did not hold water because now the family of this victim is saying that they know Daniel and they know that Arietta and Daniel were lovers and they had been dating for over a year. So why did this man kill this surgeon? Personally, I feel like it may have been about money. That is all I see. That is the only thing that would make sense here because it's kind of something that is consistent, especially when it comes to situations like this. A younger man who is 29 years old and an older successful surgeon who is in his 40s. Clearly, 
the motive behind this murder might be nothing short of greed. Because at this point, the claim that this surgeon sexually tried to abuse him can't hold any more bucket of water because there is a CCTV footage showing Daniel purchasing the weapons the day before. Now, this is how it was said that Daniel was eventually linked and tied and most likely arrested and detained for the murder of the 44-year-old surgeon. At this point though, it would be easy for the police to investigate or it would be easy for the police to see. Daniel's attempts to dismember the victim's body in 14 different parts and dispose of them in 14 different locations was kind of like his way to make sure that this man is not identified and this man is not discovered and this man is not like nobody even knows who he is hopefully if they see a hip or a leg at one spot and another time in a different area they see head and leg before the police will make sense of all of these they might even think this is two different uh, people but daniel in his own sense clearly did not have the killer in him because he wasn't very very bright for what is what, it was said that he was the one who even went to the police station to implicate himself because clearly he didn't think this through. And thank God for that. A week before this news broke out, it was said that the Thailand police had already discovered uh, human remains at a specific area that is filled with trash bin and dust bin, you know, just like a landfill area where there is like a burrow pit. So while they saw the body parts, obviously they could not tell who this person was, but they knew it was a human remain and they knew that it belonged to a human being who had most likely been killed. So the announcement went on that a body part has been found. There's a possible belief that somebody has been killed. Daniel most likely heard this and he quickly ran to the police station to file a missing person report on his friend and travel body, the 44-year-old soldier. And after filing the missing person report, the police were able to tell that, okay, this man was with you. This man was only with you. The two of you both came here. The two of you booked, booked the hotel together. He is your travel buddy. Where were you when somebody was killing him and chopping him off into pieces of meat? Where did you go? The police clearly knew that something was off with Daniel's report and they detained him. At the initial time, he was just detained because they needed more answers. They needed to understand more things about him. And clearly, keeping him on, the, on him being detained the police decided that okay they were going to go to their hotel rooms where they lodged and search it and see if anything implicating would link back to daniel and that was how the police went to the hotel room where daniel and edwin Ariata lodged only for them to find that there were other human parts it was still clear that daniel had not even cleaned up after killing this man and then when they went to the room where daniel was coming from they could tell that yeah Daniel knew so much about the death of this man. Did he not think that the police were going to investigate? Maybe he thought this was Thailand and they wouldn't do anything. You know, these are things that people do and come to some places in Africa. They kill people and then go to the police and the police will be like, okay, you're a foreigner. You wouldn't do such a thing. You're a fine looking American boy. You're white. You can go and sit down. Don't worry. We would investigate. Daniel probably did not think the police were going to point at him he thought maybe his white privilege was going to prevail but that was not the case immediately the police went to his apartment they saw what they needed to see and that was when they at this point arrested him because he knew more than what he was saying the person he came to file a missing uh, person report on was not missing because he had killed him and dismembered his body eventually daniel confessed to killing edwin Arietta, but claimed he was doing it in self-defense he claimed he was afraid. He claimed that the man tried to sexually make advances at him and he punched him and he fell. If you punch this man and he fell, the next cause of action should not be to cut him into 14 pieces. This is something we say a lot when it comes to people who claim that people die in their hands accidentally or by mistake. It's not what happens that counts. It's what you do afterwards that begin to count. It's what you do after this so-called accident has happened that would determine whether or not it was truly an accident or whether or not you knew what you were doing. So if Daniel claimed that he punched this man and the man fell and he did not know what else to do but to go and buy knife, buy bag, buy rope and cut him like a piece of meat, it's hard to believe that it was an accident. It's hard to believe that you did not do this premeditatively. It's hard. How else would anyone believe you if your next cause of action after punching a man 
to hit his head on the ground, which we know he would not die instantly, but most likely be unconscious. And instead of calling for help, calling the medic, or at most, since you already have a reservation somewhere else, instead of you to leave him there and go to where you're going to, you decided to butcher him in 14 pieces. Ah, oh, come on. The investigation is still ongoing. Clearly, he's going to face charges. Daniel is still claiming it was not premeditated, despite the fact that they've seen him buying these weapons he used to kill this man the day before the incident happened, which meant that he knew that he, this was what was going to happen. And lying that he's just a travel buddy, whereas the family of the man knows that they were in a relationship, things just keep looking bad for Daniel. And it's unfortunate for him. Personally, in my mind of mind, I feel that the only thing that, or the only way this makes sense to me is that maybe Daniel might not be into the man. Maybe Daniel was just one of those people because I know one thing about influencing and being a popular, good-looking influencer or a content creator. There are people who go after these uh, creators, male or female, and they make a relationship with them. And since that the victim, Edwin Ariata, is a he clearly has money. And it's very possible that he has used his money or he had used his money to throw in Daniel's face. And obviously, like a dog who needs money and who needs this flashy lifestyle, who needs to travel on vacation, clearly Daniel was attracted. And maybe now Daniel kind of wants the sugar without the daddy in it. Obviously, Edwin Ariata was the sugar daddy to Daniel. I'm sorry to say, it's what it looks like. It's what it looks like. It's clearly what it seems. The only thing now is that Daniel is tired of the daddy part and doesn't want the daddy part. He only wants the sugar. I feel like if they investigate more, they could find out that Daniel was clearly finding a way to take money or was about to rob this man. If that's the case, and he most likely is involved. We've seen this a couple times, even in the story we did in Kenya, where there were roommates and friends, and it turned out that money was the big thing involved. So I don't believe this is any different. Even though it happened in Spain or in Thailand, it's the same thing. It's the same story. It's the same triangle. I believe that Daniel most likely killed Edwin because he wants the man's money, but doesn't want to keep having the man around. He most likely will take the money and lavish it on girls that he wants or people that he most likely wants. Even though the Thailand police are saying or claiming that they believe it might be a personal relationship or personal dispute that these two had that may have caused the situation, some people are speculating that maybe Edwin cheated and was sponsoring other guys and Daniel got jealous. I don't know the theory, I don't know the culture of those people, but from a lot of the stories we've seen, I believe Daniel was trying to get so much more money that than Edwin would give him. So the best way he thought he could do it was rather than steal it, take it and kill the man. It's just that, you know, he didn't think this through. And the fact that he's capable of cutting a human being into pieces like that, I don't know, he's, it's, it's giving horror. It's a very scary thing to do. It looks like somebody who may have done this before. It's very tragic. So there is a major update to the story while we were trying to upload this video, we got an update to Daniel's confession as to why he did what he did. You see, initially Daniel had claimed that the reason why he killed Arietta was because he, uh, he tried to have sex with him, you know. But over time, as the investigation seems to be developing, Daniel has made a new confession and he has made a new claim that the reason why he actually killed Edwin Arietta was because he threatened to expose their relationship, that he threatened to reveal intimate images of their relationship to the public, which suggested that now Daniel is admitting to being in a relationship with um, Edwin, but it was secret and he did not want the relationship to come out. Daniel also claimed that the relationship he had with Edwin support his own relationship with his girlfriend which meant that he clearly had a double life he was seeing a woman and seeing a man at the same time so his claim right now is that edwin arietta threatened to expose the relationship because he was trying to break up with him and end things with him which would most likely explain why he booked a different um, lodge or a different uh, room aside from the one he and arietta had Probably because he planned on breaking things up with him so that when he ends things with Edwin, he was going to go back to his own lodge. 
I guess that's his claim. But the problem with this his claim is that it still doesn't hold water because a day before this so-called incident or a day before it was said that he killed this man, he had purchased the weapons that he needed and every other thing he would use to kill and dispose of his body, which is obviously indicating that he planned it ahead of time. So whether or not Edwin planned to threaten him or Edwin wanted to break up with him or Edwin wants to ruin their relationship or expose him or hold him hostage, the day Edwin did all of these things was not the day Daniel decided to kill him. Clearly, Daniel had wanted to kill him days before and he had made preparations for it the day before the entire incident happened. So personally, again, I feel like Daniel is lying. This is what happens when you're caught. <laughs> This not happen when you're caught in such mess. You want to make up the best story to get you the minimum sentence ever. And again, I think I still think this is all lies. This is this is a lie. I still believe money is involved. And another update has confirmed it that the surgeon Edwin Arieta actually invested ten thousand euros in one of Daniel's restaurants. And this is where I know that yes. This is it. This is the reason why Daniel killed this man. Because of this money. I feel like this is why Daniel most likely even wanted to date this man or get involved with this man. Because he knew the man was wealthy and something was going to come out of it. This was clearly a sugar daddy. Like I said, Daniel was tired of the daddy part or Daniel did not want the daddy part and he only wanted the sugar. And the moment this man gave him 10,000 euros to his restaurants or for one of his restaurants, he had gotten what he wanted. And so it was easy to kill the man because he doesn't want the man to come back to him. He doesn't want the man to disturb him. He doesn't want the man to let people know what he had done. And maybe he had to do things with the man for the 10,000 euros. Maybe he had to sleep with the man or pretend to be in a relationship with the man, you know, take pictures with him on the bed with the man. You know, the things a lot of runs boys and girls do. He probably did all of these things and he knew that if he just takes the money and run away, those things might come to light. I mean, 10,000 euros is a lot of money. So I guess his claim might hold a little bit of water, but in the end, in the end, money was involved and there probably would be more money involved if anybody asked me. I'm sure there was more money. I'm sure he probably may have even tried to rob him or look for ways to take more money from him. So he just messed up. So this is the update. I hopefully, I think the story will develop. He's going to have to go to court. I wonder how his celebrity parents would feel. But let's just watch and see. Don't forget to let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. Honestly, very tragic. It's a good thing that he was caught and arrested. I like the fact that the Thailand police did not waste time in locking him up. I like the fact that they did not give him the white boy pass. They did not give him the tourist pass. They don't like, okay, he's a white boy. Let him see because you all know no offense to a lot of african countries but if this had happened somewhere in africa to an african man or woman daniel would have most likely gotten away with it scot free because he's white and because he actually went to the police to report a missing person so they would most likely assume he's innocent i like the way the thailand police took this case and immediately put this boy in handcuffs because he needs to go to jail he needs to go to jail and remain there I don't know how it's claimed that this was not premeditated with hold in court. I do not know because the odds are clearly against him right now. Let me know why you think Daniel may have done this to Edwin. Do you think it's because of money or love triangle gone wrong? Or do you think it's greed? Or do you think maybe he suddenly started hating himself for doing what he was doing with the man? Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, so should there be any future updates, turn on your notification and you'll be the first to get notified whenever there is a new video. Thank you guys for watching.